We gather here today in the Switch Clicks podcast to mourn the death of a beloved Super Mario. Join us today, we have Nathan and JG. Today, we will discuss Mario's history leading up to his untimely death on March 31st, 2021. We will each share our best memories of the Mushroom Lover, starting with Nathan. Oh, okay. So, uh, I have very fond memories of three Mario games in particular. I guess I guess you could probably say four. Uh, my first is New Super Mario Bros. on DS. That thing brought so many memories, uh, whether I'm playing alone or with siblings. And back in the day, I used to find it really difficult. Going, Looking back at it, it is incredibly easy, but there's always a um, there's always a feeling of nostalgia, despite how easy and boring the game can become. Uh, my next game is Super Mario Galaxy. This was like the first big giant Mario game. Like, I yeah, I guess you could say 64 and Sunshine weren't that big. Galaxy was like it puts you in a huge world where you can explore all these different planets and such. And it had the weird gravity stuff going on. All these different cool power-ups. Um, very memorable. And I think it's one of my first Mario games that I actually beat. Uh, my third memorable Mario game is 3D Land. For some reason, the game just got me to grind it all the way through. I don't know whether it's the vibes that the game gave off or if it's just the simplicity. Uh, I liked it better than 3D World, and uh, I guess I guess the music was great, too. Um, yeah, I, fourth- wanted to, oh. I wanted to mention with uh, New Super Mario on the DS, um, yeah, that's that's a very memorable Mario game. I'm pretty sure that was like Mini- one of my first, if anything. Oh, um, boy, the mini games. <laughs> I specifically remember the mini games because I used to just grind out um, the Luigi's betting. <laughs> oh, yeah, the table has <laughs> Luigi games. I never really knew how to play it back then, um, but it was still fun to me. And then for some reason, I remembered the one where you draw trampolines. You have to keep a certain Mario, a certain amount of that Mario's scary. in between two poles. That was a great was, mini game. That was great and scary at the same time. I never um, really played the multiplayer of that either. I played it like twice, but only the ones we have to go around like the infinite, I guess, level with oh, Mario and Luigi. I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I hated that. I always preferred the other the other multiplayer. Yeah, it seems like it was kind of an afterthought, but there wasn't much 2D multiplayers on the 3DS any, or DS anyway. Yeah, well, at least it was better than 3D Land. 3D Land, or, you know, New Super Mario Bros. 2 as well. There was, <laughs> there was not much going on in those two games. Isn't that just basically New Super Mario Bros. DS, but just with new power-ups and stuff? Pretty much. Well, I mean, it was... Did they put uh, yeah, any mini-games in it? Or no? No, so. it was just was like some game. one, one mini-game where you go collect coins, I think, but I'm not sure. Because they reused the mini-games in... Like they reused the mini-games in 64 DS, right? Oh my Did, gosh! Which, so which one came out first? I never knew. I think New Super Mario Bros. because that was like a launch title. Oh yeah, probably. It's still and... one of the most popular Mario games because it sold so much. Uh, I grinded the heck out of that mo- that mini game with uh, my siblings. I remember um, always playing every single thing down the line, and I found most of them to be pretty pretty fun. It was. Of them. I think it was the... I forgot the name. It was like the one where you have to flip desert tiles. I think that one was the most boring. Because <laughs> I didn't know how to play it. And by the time I learned how to play it, it was like, what am I doing? I'd but say the hardest the one, one is probably <laughs> uh, the Guess Who one, or where there's like a bunch of icons of each of the characters, and you have to find oh. like Luigi out of all of them. Wasn't That's that impossible. Super on the 240p screen. Actually... <laughs> I think I made it to like <laughs> level three hundred on that. Not not gonna what lie. What the heck? I don't know. I got so good at that. It, it got I way just got too completely easy. scammed. Like, because yeah, like, okay. All of a sudden, you need to find his nose, and the green of his hat isn't showing, so you can't find it. And some, <laughs> and sometimes his chin. Yeah. Oh my god. That that I got so good at. Actually, I think I was playing Super Mario. 
64 DS when I got good at that. I, I wasn't playing Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. Um, and I do remember from New Super Mario Brothers too. Um, not two, but also uh, the I think the sixth world, which everyone's like the stone mountains oh, or yeah. whatever. I feel like that one was like the most unique, but also the hardest world for some reason for me. I found that one to be the easiest. Like, I just hated the stupid um, what do you call it? The wall, the wall crawling and such. I hated that. Oh yeah. I like the list. I like how open they were, uh, the maps where you could or oh. the levels, because like uh, oh you could get the, the the little spinner thing and you could go on the spinner and they go really up high and basically skip the whole level in some cases. Oh, yeah, then there was even that whole uh, level choice thing where. You can either go to world, I guess it's three and f- three or five. I don't remember. It's you got to choose two different worlds to go to. Yeah, I think it goes bad. one, two, and then three is like a secret, secret world you could say. Yeah, and then you go three to four. four. Yeah, and then I think then, from yeah, five, you have then the it splits again. Going to six, seven, and then eight. Yeah. Oh, that twist at eight at the end though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, I hated the last castle, but <laughs> fire everywhere. So, still have many fond memories of it. But well, speaking what were the of other ones on your list, you had the first one, you for first galaxy and 3D land. We land, and then also my last one was Odyssey. Uh, uh I guess I, I guess you can say it's probably the first Twitch game that I grinded. The, that's not true, but like. I have the most memories out of that compared to any other Switch game I've played. Yeah, getting all the moons was just incredibly satisfying. The game did everything right for collecting. The whole journey from start to finish was actually like an adventure. It wasn't like a previous Mario game where you have to choose a level and then go into it. it was yeah, like just wait until they make a sequel and every single world is connected and you can just walk to it without oh, any Oh, like Bowser's Fury? Exactly. Bowser's <laughs> Fury style? Oh. That would be insane. <laughs> completely open world Mario game. Uh, that's that'd be the craziest thing Super ever. Super Mario sixty four DS triple all star plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they put like <laughs> they put and uh, Peach's Castle, and inside Peach's Castle is all the levels from sixty four. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Yeah, that would be the bomb on battlefield. I was just saying, walking around like holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's a good bomb on Battlefield again. Oh, well, speaking of which, uh, what are your memorable games, Jack Cheat? All right, my memorable games, uh, I would say 64, Sunshine, okay. Galaxy, um, Galaxy 2, and a lot of that, Odyssey. Um, All the 3D games, getting, I guess. I, why am I, <laughs> I'm getting the feeling it's everything. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart DS. I love Mario Kart Wii. I love Double Dash. Double Dash is so much fun. Holy crap, man. Not 7 and I didn't really like 7 that much. Uh, and 8. 8. 8. Especially 8 Deluxe. I've been playing the hell out of that. It's actually really fun. 8, eight in general is pretty fun. I think it's just <laughs> the fact that uh, Super, uh, Mario Kart Wii is just kind of ingrained into our heads. Only because we got Wii's when maybe we were like eight or something, just around uh, there, maybe six, six, six seven, five. eight. I, I got mine on five. That. <laughs> I mean, that's the fact yeah. that bikes were like busting five, in that six. game. You could literally just do a mini turbo and just go zoom in past everyone. It's like, okay, I guess this is how we're gonna play. And just the fact that that was probably our first Mario experience. Yeah. Or oh, on the Wii, I've, generally, too. I mean, I played Double Dash. Like, I, played a bit uh, of that. I think I played Galaxy before I played. I know. Yeah, well, I yeah, I played Double Galaxy Dash before. So fun. Double Dash, oh, especially man. the drifting on Double Dash was really hard to do. Like, you couldn't have sucked at Double all. Dash. But it was still my favorite I game. I wish they ported it over. I want Double Dash again. Okay, well, hey, at least we got double items. <laughs> okay, that doesn't but really I want count, Double but... Dash. I want to put. I want to put. You know, like, I want to put uh, you know what? Mario. On a cart with Tanuki Mario. Mario Kart 9. <laughs> if Mario Kart 9 has a double dash mode, oh, I, I would, would immediately... It. I would love it. I would buy that in two seconds. I had two seconds. I mean, I've, I've been having two a lot of... Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with Mario Kart though, lately. It's really fun. Like, it's actually... Like, it's... Someone's like in the stall. It's memorable. It's memorable. Um, Dakota, how about you? 
What are your memorable Mario games? Uh, well, I have like two on my list. <laughs> Maybe three, <laughs> but pretty much two. Uh, I have, I guess, probably the first Mario game I can think of that I really put hours into was uh, Mario Galaxy 2, specifically. Um, and <laughs> getting the game is a very <laughs> interesting story. I'm pretty sure I I recently got a Wii, and then I went into a Rogers, which okay. doesn't really have much stores anymore, but it was when they oh. used to rent video games. Oh. Hey, like, this, yeah. is, this is the type of story I can give to my ga- grandchildren if I ever have sounds, them. <laughs> this sounds like the freaking 1990s and 80s. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but I think it was on like a $20 shelf or something. Um, okay. And I don't know what the context was, but I, we just bought it. Okay. Um, so And then I played through it, and and then I found out that there's a Mario Galaxy 1. <laughs> How did original. you not... So I played the sequel completely through like a billion times before I even played the original. <laughs> what? Okay. It sounds insane now, but it was a great game. So <laughs> also I at guess, the time, yeah, I didn't have money to buy the, the original. I guess that makes sense because two is more li- like two is linear. So you actually get to know how to play the game. And, yeah. you, and then you go back to the first game and then like it's ridiculously easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have like a kind of better memories with the sequel than the first one. Um, like I have I just... zero connection to like Rosalina or any of those characters or the observatory. Yeah. I just know the giant Mario head ship <laughs> and the big purple I dropped... Luma. <laughs> I just dropped Galaxy Two like instantly. I hated that game. It ruined nostalgia wow. for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have nostalgia for the first game. I hated the second one because of that. I, and I really like the power up in the sequel too. I'm not sure if they match. I think they introduce new ones in the sequel, but I really like the Spring Mario, although it's kind of funky. I really like the Rock well. Mario, um, and the Boo Mario is kind of cool. Uh, two of those are in the first game, <laughs> and I really <laughs> have fond memories of the Spring. Uh, cough, cough, falling off all the time. Cough, cough. Well, yeah, because it's there's no way to even control it. <laughs> uh, uh, what were they thinking? <laughs> it had some of the most tedious. Le- it was on one, some of the most tedious levels ever. I don't even think it was also, managed, so. Just also the fact that you had to control like the gravity situation too. Oh, I hated that. Some of the levels were even flat and just had no bottom to it, so you just fell oh. off. Yeah, you fell off and just <laughs> wasted all your lives on those levels. And the second one on my list, I'd say, was uh, Super Mario 3D Land on the 3DS. Like, I had an addiction to my 3DS. I don't know what my my hours on the game was, but I've probably finished the game about, like, eight times, I'd say. Doesn't Holy like crap, crap, that's way more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I probably 100%ed Actually- it maybe twice. And that's including oh the app, the star levels where you replay oh, the entire yeah. game <laughs> with Luigi ah, or whatever. Easier than me, actually. Yeah. The only thing I can compare that to is me playing Ocarina of Time 3D like seven times over. Like I probably but, like I played my 3DS. I I played my 3DS a lot when I was going to and from school on the bus. So yeah. even free time during lunch. In middle school, <laughs> boy. Oh, so, actually, I don't. So I was addicted that to that. <laughs> that's when I. That's when I played Shovel Knight. Uh, that's when I played a lot of Animal Crossing, and I played for some reason a lot of 3D Land and a lot of uh, Super Mario Brothers Three on the oh gosh, man. NES. And this will kind of age us if people watch this a few years from now. But I got uh, Super Mario Three from when they shut down. My uh, no Nintendo Club, and they gave oh, out free games. Really? Yeah. So I decided to get the original Legend of Zelda, which I never beat because I have no idea what's going on. And yeah, you need to die <laughs> for that. Hundred <laughs> percent. And uh, Super Mario Three, and I played the crap out of Super Mario Three. Like I played so much of it. It's even more it's than insane. me. I have like three <laughs> copies of that game. Not the flex, but. <laughs> Wait, what? How? Okay, like so I have. 
Uh, so I got the uh, 25th anniversary All Stars game. It was on the Wii, and I because I bought the 3DS at launch, I got the special ambassadors thing. I believe some of the money I got too, I got it on the 3DS. And I think I also have the NES Virtual Console version on B as well. So I have three different versions to play off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you uh, can have different resolutions. Yeah. Different resolutions, different, uh, I guess, different controls to an extent. Uh, Is yeah, it that's... weird that I played uh, Super Mario 3D, sorry, Super Mario 3 with the analog stick and not the D-pad? I don't blame you because that because the D-pad placement on 3DS still sucks. I hate it. That's true. It feels well, so we uncomfortable to use. We don't have to think about it anymore because 3DS is dead. Also, but this is a funeral for another person. Um. <laughs> People, if you if you it's a funeral for another person, but no one wants to talk about him. Yeah, he's just it's a. He's for weebs. I won't say it now. For weebs. For, for weebs. weebs and for <laughs> melee players who love the, the grab range. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a deep cut. <laughs> no, no, it's a melee, melee. This is a pretty broken. That's what makes melee broken. Oh, you know, that's no one wants to talk about him compared to Mario. Pokemon cards are still selling like crazy these days, but Pokemon nerds always have them in stock. Looking to buy one? Get yourself a Dragonite card? Use the code SWITCHCLICKS to get 5% off your entire order on Pokemon nerds. This code will also be in the description below. Like we've crowded our sorrows for Mr. Mario here. He's in his casket, he's kind of just sitting there. Nobody can give him invincibility. <laughs> and, uh,. We will now talk about the future of, of Nintendo anniversary stuff for the 2021. We all know that there's like four different anniversaries this year, and so far they've only celebrated one of them. Well, one and a half. One and a half. Well, we all there's all there's already one obvious guess. Everyone probably thinks of it immediately. Comes after Mario. And I think the community was a little... I think the community overreacted on February 21st when this happened. But the biggest prediction out there is that there's going to be a Zelda anniversary celebration. I don't doubt. think there's any <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Reason being, well, I mean, I, why not? It's, it's another 35th anniversary. Um... Uh, I don't think there's going to be as much as Mario because uh, you know, Mario is bigger than Zelda. There's yeah. going to be a substantial amount of content that like, would at least satisfy for an anniversary type of thing. Maybe yeah. even a Breath of the Wild 2 title reveal. Probably at E3 or whatever hopefully, they do for that, that time. E3, hopefully in June. Just hopefully... Probably or hopefully. What else? Yeah, Two. if anything, they'll... Like, I'm thinking, because of COVID, they might have delayed a bunch of stuff, because I think the Mario thing leaked April of last year, and that it was only yeah. revealed September, which is crazy. So it's supposed to go all, it, was, it was supposed to be all the way back in June. <laughs> like, I'm thinking, like, if they released the game... If they released the 3D All-Stars game in June for maybe stopping sales in, let's say, December... Because yeah. you know the holiday season, but they just yeah. maybe cut it short. They yeah. could have, I'd say, maybe delayed the Zelda stuff from June to December this year. That would have been a good timing, but this is also not. It's almost April right now, so I'm thinking they could have made maybe delayed it again to uh, basically the same time, so September to March. Very and weird, but. Even overlapping again, that's, uh, that's second anniversary. <laughs> that'll also overlap freaking uh, what do you call it? Pokemon, because Pokemon is still celebrating over over to next year with uh, oh yeah Pokemon. Games. Now Both Pokemon the, uh, they always do it separately though because they, they do it separately, Pokemon but like that's games. that's where Nintendo has to watch out. Like they can't just 
kill themselves over this. <laughs> like, I think overlapping for... anniversaries isn't, isn't even that bad. Um, but right. just the fact that you don't even acknowledge half of the games that have an anniversary this year is kind of just sad. Uh, that's uh, right, well, I guess that's the case for Zelda as well. <laughs> yeah, especially they don't even put a the... logo out. Yeah, it's gonna be a little sad, but you know, I'm I'm optimistic. Now, in terms of what anniversaries won't be celebrated, though, I have a feeling. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Metroid. I'm probably. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be 2023 when they celebrate something. <laughs> when yeah. they actually do Metroid stuff, I'm like, there is no way they'll bring something Metroid next year unless it was like a Metroid Prime trilogy HD thing. There's no way it's in. No way Metroid Prime Four is coming in next year. It's yeah, gotta be 2023. I'm kind of really hoping that because they canceled or they re they delayed started, Metroid Prime restarted. 4, they restarted it. They're like, oh crap, we gotta put something Metroid out. So right when they canceled it or restarted, they're like, hey, okay, we're gonna have another development team, we're gonna remake the trilogy. Go boys. So I'm hoping Hopefully that's the case. this year, just because it's like, you know, perfect timing, good marketing. This year 30, or maybe early next year. sometime, you know, like first half of next year. Yeah, just for like a halfway point, then we then we know, okay, so Metroid Prime 4 is probably going to be coming out 2023, 2024, you know, 25, right. way farther. <laughs> Hopefully. Like the last the... Metroid game we got in that case would be five years. <laughs> the 3DS game got one. Uh, no, no one remembered that. Maybe they'll port that one over too. It has been 11 since... years since the first original Metroid game. Jeez. We don't we don't remember Federation Force. That that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> there is also another anniversary we're gonna be skipping out on. I think Mario's other anniversary would be probably an afterthought and probably just summed up in a tweet. Uh, it's a, in I think June or July, it's gonna be the fortieth anniversary of Donkey Kong. The arcade game. 40 years? What the heck? 40 years, <laughs> which technically means Mario is 40 years old. Uh, Not 35. Yeah, you could say that. Jumpman I Mario. Jumpman Mario. Probably gonna be, it's probably going to be an afterthought or you know, a simple tweet. I don't think they're going to do anything related to uh, Mario or Donkey Kong necessarily. Um, uh, that's... Too. If anything, what other anniversaries are there? Nintendo. Like, um, well, other... they did a bit for Fire Emblem, but that's it. They, I, I Fire Emblem the game I, came out. <laughs> for a year, they were a year late on that. I think. Actually, no, they weren't. Uh, I, I gotta double check the dates, but they they were really off timing on that one, and yeah. Earth is going to die tomorrow as well. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, okay. there's any other anniversaries more? coming out is there? Okay, we've been going for 24 minutes. That's pretty good. At least we went over the 20 minute mark. Is there anything else? Yeah. I don't think there is. Uh, uh smart your game, game speculation, I guess. Uh, sure. Well, yeah, we, we do that. Kinda, so what do you think, it, when do you think the next Mario game is going to come out? Like, mainstream Odyssey 2 level. Oh, shoot. Mainstream Odyssey 2 type of Mario game. Um, so we're getting spin-off this year. You had Bowser's Fury this year. Um, honestly, I have to say 2023. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. I'd say like 2022 to 2024, no later. Because 2022, I feel like we're just going to get like some random or maybe, I don't know, some smaller spinoff. Maybe even... Actually, no, I was, I was about to say surprise comeback for like the Mario and Luigi series, but that's that's a little too hopeful. I don't think there's going to be something big for Mario next year, but... 
2023? Maybe. Yeah, seven... How long has it been? Seven years? No, that's like four years in between each game. Sounds about right. Yeah. If we count, if think... we count Bowser's Fury as a big release, then the supposed next game could be around 2025. Okay, that's that's a lot. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but yes. Yeah. But because Bowser of Fury is technically like I'd say like a DLC level, it could be around 2023. I'd say. Mm-hmm. And coming well, back to the idea of like <laughs> open world Mario game taking ideas from Bowser oh. Fury, that would be the coolest thing in the world. It's just my expectations that they polish that idea. Uh, yeah. If any of you watching saw the uh, play by tier episode I had, where I was reviewing Bowser's Fury. Um, the game is meh. It's fun, but like, it's not perfect. It's not like a polished Mario game. It's really it runs like crap compared to anything else. Hopefully, they polish that in Odyssey Two or whatever the heck they're gonna call it. Because you know, I can't really accept something that looks inferior to any Mario game. And you never know. We could have the Nintendo Switch Pro by then, which would be great. Man, that's I don't know if that's even if that's gonna be worth it or not. I honestly don't want it this year because I don't have the money to buy it. <laughs> oh, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I'd but when it comes out, wait. Uh, it's better to just wait. Hopefully, it comes out way later on. Hopefully, here's hoping you don't they don't screw up games on the regular Switch by then. <laughs> that would be really mad. Oh yeah, it's just totally imagine like late on 3ds. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even worse, like Hyrule Warriors running like 20 frames on the original 3ds. That's something I don't want to see at all. Thank you for gathering here today to mourn the death of beloved Super Mario. On your way at the door, we would love it if you could follow us on Twitter and listen to future episodes on Spotify and iTunes. Join our Discord for insight on future episodes, and we'll see you next time on the Switch Clicks podcast.